thought I had to one up it after the other comedian was here. He told I'd be the only one. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fun. I uh, I remember one of the first times I saw Matt. He was actually talking about um how he practiced doing comedy in front of his cats. So sad and really sad. Cute, but you know, sad. And uh. And then I realized he could switch it around. Like, I, I didn't know until he started telling these jokes. I was like, when he's like, oh, let me tell you about my first ex gay experience. Of many? Great. A lot of stories to come. No. Whole story about his girlfriend? True. True. The whole time. I didn't believe it for a lot of times. And uh, when he was talking about his cats, I realized it sounded sad, but you could dress that up a little bit. If you've been in a house of cats all day, you come out and be like, oh, how are you? And like, oh, so, so tired. Just swimming in a house of pussy all day. <laughs> I used to live with uh, with two lesbians, um, and uh, they slowly adopted four cats while we were all together. So we called that the House of Pussy. That was that was our own version. I'm gonna bring up your next act here. I'm super excited to see. I know I've seen her before. You guys probably have seen her and already love her. Let's welcome Errol. 